good morning. As it turns out, today is August 6th, 2024, which means it was, um, it was, it was 13 years ago <laughs> that we got married. Um, and like, it doesn't feel that long ago. No. It and, doesn't. And also, it feels like we've we've always just been married. So I, I don't know. It can feel both. So um, it does. It feels both. Good morning, everyone. Us getting married 13 years ago today is the reason that disc only can't be tonight. Kepler, can you move just a little bit? I got a coffee cup. I can't move you like with both hands. There we go. He's, he's cuddling. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I, yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday, I worked a lot. Uh -huh. I woke up yesterday at 5.30 a.m. Um, I mean, Kep always wakes me up at some point in the middle of the night, and I usually get up, go to the bathroom, and then I can fall back asleep. Yesterday, I couldn't. So yesterday, I got up at 5.30, and then I just, like, worked. And I, I told myself I was going to take a nap, and then I just didn't. Anyway, vlogs are caught up. <laughs> uh, I, I finished. Um, okay, I didn't. I didn't hit export on yesterday's vlog, but but it's edited. But it's, it's, it's edited. So, I didn't like schedule them all for today or something because that wouldn't. That doesn't help. But they're they're done. Um, so that feels good. That feels really good. I just need to, uh, you know, get back to Japan. Anyway, I might take a nap today. <laughs> we had 70 months from Chrissy G and 11 months from L Strike Luna. Nine months from Elvin Scout 44. Anise gifted a sub to Angel the Unlikely. We had uh, 57 months from Seraphim 2000. And a snack. Acquire your Sunrise's Truth with Tiny Annie's Piping Hot Funeral Rosemary Sticks. <laughs> I love this. 1050 from Anissa says, Eddie, what food would you serve at a wedding? I mean, the, the single part of me died that day, right? So like that, there you go. Piping hot funeral rosemary sticks. Eddie's always a surprise. Eddie is a surprise. <laughs> it's not just any funeral stick. These are piping hot. They sh there should be food at all events, no matter what the occasion. I am a firm believer in this. Have you not been to a funeral with food? I have. Every funeral okay. I've been to has had food. <laughs> wedding too? Every wedding I've been to has had food. The funeral itself doesn't have food. It's like after. Yeah. But, Same with the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. But what if what if in both instances there was just like like a little tray? Coffee and bars. I had some of the best bars when my uncle passed away in January. Those Lutheran ladies made the best bars. The I dessert would... table was bigger than the food table. I mean, that is that has also been my experience um, at uh, different funerals that I've been to. Is that 
not all of them, but a lot of them have had an extensive dessert experience. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because, like, I mean, you're, you're, it's a sad event. Yeah. And it's like, what is the, what is the food that will bring you the most happiness right now? Sugar. And it's sugar. Mm -hmm. So, like, honestly, Chess says, how quickly can I force Eddie to be wedding anniversary themed so this doesn't happen again? I'm heavily amused. Same. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. Anise, thank you. I appreciate it. We had uh, 38 months from Blaze23124, 43 months from PK Daisy. Get hitched with the flavors of Tiny Eddie's Tangy Wedding Cake Pickle Sandwich. The answer to Chaz's question is... Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was a bit from Blue Haired Cyborg. It says, oh, tiniest of Eddie's, what snack do you have for us on this joyous day? And congratulations, Stephen Amount. Well, thank you. Please enjoy Tangy Wedding Cake Pickle Sandwich. I want those things separate. I'm trying to imagine if it was a sweet pickle, maybe. I don't think I want wedding cake and dill pickles together. I think no. that that does not work as well as as Eddie would insinuate. But like a sweet pickle, maybe. Me? I don't think anything Eddie does makes sense. Yeah, a <laughs> spy move says. But if you're pregnant. I think I think Tiny Eddie honestly is best for pregnant people because there is just a range of flavors combinations. I think that's what that's who Eddie is catering to half the time. That's the only <laughs> It's not nice to murder those who are <laughs> Some of the snacks are not uh, the healthiest thing, but others others wouldn't hurt you other than your taste buds. But uh, yeah, d during pregnancy, May I know I that- I have the glasses cleaner? I know people and can get some pretty strange, pretty strange cravings. Thank you. Did you read that mug? I did not read the oh, mug. Oh, it's funny. Everything on there is a joke. I mean, it's very funny to me. <laughs> I got Mao a mug for our anniversary. This, this mug, mug used to be exclusive if you did the Golden Factory Tour in New York State, and I wanted one badly, and, um, they sell them now. Yeah. I had it in the cupboard. That was fun. That was fun for me, is I, I, I ordered it, and, um, Mal knows everything that comes into the house, because she gets emails about it, so I had to have it sent to Haley. Oh, that's how you did it. So I had it sent to Haley, and then I picked it up, and then I, I washed it, and I put it in the mug cabinet. cabinet this morning. So when Mal went to get her coffee, she would see it. and she I was... almost had uh, one of the canned coffees out of the fridge this morning, but yeah. I was cold. Yeah, so that was fun. I enjoyed that. Anyway, that's the... Uh, Golden is the paint company that Mal... Oh, you want it for a second this looks like they're tubes of paint like they yeah. do the same graphic design and um this like they have directions and stuff for how to use the paint and like the health and safety for paint and they have that but it's about coffee and one of the lines is of course you could decide to drink decaf but who knows what else is in that Meanwhile, coffee could cause the following symptoms or side effects. Long, lonesome nights. <laughs> Increased creativity. The shimmies and the shakes. A funeral at your wedding. Anyway. Yeah, Mouse wanted that mug for years. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the only way you could get it was physically going to the, the place, so the fact that they started selling it on the I site... I still want to physically go to the place. Of course you do, yeah. It's just, that's harder to achieve than um, ordering. ordering a mug. Did you see this kid? 
That's a happy boy. Cool. <laughs> you just drive there? You can fly there. I love you very much. I would not fly up there to get a mug, though. That'd be too much. The perfect way to commemorate your anniversary. <laughs> Tiny Eddie's dazzling diamond ice cream pizza. Where's my diamond ice cream pizza? I don't think you want to eat diamond ice cream pizza. That's why it's in quotes. It's not actual diamonds. That was a bit from Charlotte Dante. It says, Tiny Eddie, it's also my parents' wedding anniversary. 47 years for them. What tasty treat can they share with Stephen Amell? Well, happy anniversary to them. They can eat diamond ice cream pizza. Ice cream pizza is a concept. Have I ever done such a thing? No. If you were to make a dessert pizza, like the ones that are like I chocolate would do chip. Cookie with frosting and fruit. If you had if you had a chocolate chip dessert pizza though, you could put ice cream on that. And that would work. That would work fine. And the diamonds in quotes could be uh what's uh something crunchy. Sprinkles. I mean you could yeah. You could just do sprinkles. Nuts, rock candy. Rock candy's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know that I would want rock candy on that. No, you'd break a tooth. But that would fill the the diamond requirements. Anyway, Charlotte, thank you. We also had three and a bit some Dishnet who says, Happy thirteenth anniversary, you two. Thank you, Dishnet. Uh, marriage go far. <coughs> I made myself laugh. You sure did. Uh, 70, 71 months from Kaylin Lux, 34 from Swift for Sweeper, 8 from Nee the 307, uh, 510 bits from Anise, who says, on another note, can you explain how the YouTube algorithm works? Will watching any George Corp videos please the algorithm? Or are they only interested in interaction with new videos? What's that noise? It sounded like Windows disconnected something, but I don't I don't know what. That okay. was weird. You heard that, yeah. Yeah. They, doo, 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 doo. No, that's the plug up sound. So something got plugged up. I don't know, computers are bad. Um the first, the, the question is, can you explain how the YouTube algorithm works? And the answer to that really is no. Just because we're not, we're not entirely sure, and it does change. But how we understand it is watching a video is good. The reason, the reason that interactions with new videos are good um, is that you're starting at a base of like, okay, a video comes out and YouTube's like, well, let's see what happens. And if there's a lot of interaction with a new video, it's happening with other people that are interacting with it. Does that make sense? So like there's more people at once. And my understanding of it is that because of that, YouTube's like, oh, okay. Kind of. Coffee. There's a lot of things I don't understand, and one of the reasons we have Patreon and uh, and Twitch is because I don't understand <laughs> what's happening on YouTube. Um, and that's like a like a mattress to prevent the fall because I'm like I don't understand that platform. I like to make things on it. I just don't understand how it works. I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, we got 68 months from Missing No Leader, uh, 19 from Stalker Mike, 12 months from Math Man, that's a 1, and 48 months from Stoop Kid, that's a 4. Congrats to both of you. We had 300 bits from Akana 18, just says happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 500 bits from Elvin Scout says good morning and good vibes from New York, grandparents. May your coffee be ever warm and your breakfast perfectly filling and delicious. Thank you both for all you do. You know, I almost had some food this morning. Yes. 
I almost had some breakfast. And then I was like, ah, it's fine. Coffee. I think if I would have had, like, a, if there was a donut, I would eat a donut. I like, I like to eat, I like to eat donuts. <laughs> I guess I could have made like a piece of toast. You could have. That's fine. We have, we have, um, it's probably obvious. We have, we have dinner plans. And they're pretty, our reservation for the place we're going to is pretty early. So yeah. like. Not so early I can't eat. I'm going to eat something. I just, I didn't get anything yet. My God, I, do you have any idea how many donuts I can eat? Yeah, I do. Gold Corral does reservations. <laughs> I think if I want to be married 14 years, um, you I won't should, ever I, take me I to Golden Crow. I probably Grail. won't take mm -hmm. Mal to Golden Crow. No. It was it was nice actually. Um, Mal and I do uh, date nights um, every twice two, a month. Twice a month, and I, I pick a place, and then she picks a place, and because we have done that, and we just keep, you know, doing that. When it comes time to pick our anniversary place, we actually decided it together instead of one of us making the plans. So that was nice. Yeah. It was a fun... It was a, a, a different than we've done it sometimes. And, like, that was... That was neat. It was fun to pick a place. Uh, we had 71 months from DC20 will save. Two months from Dr. Bunny 2018. I love Dr. Bunny. 23 months from Red Hero. 37 from Haley May. 57 from Epic DXX. 60 months from Dude4269. That's a five. Congrats on the five quickly heading towards the six zone <laughs> a zone like i think we have one more month and a few there will be a few people starting to hit uh, 72 months wild we got 46 months from space cat 063 from kazuyumi 30 months from dipidius badoo 47 from the super thingy bob 59 from lcd 68 from the great ass fairy 32 from devoid art 57 from writer book ninja 20 from aaron the baron 53 from layla 344 from paranite Three into bits from N. Tappet. It says, Stephen, the man with a significant flooding threat associated with Tropical Storm Debbie, I just want to make sure your parents in Myrtle Beach will be okay. I mean, I I trust that th they will be. Yeah. It's not something I'm, I'm super worried about, but it's also because I've lived there long enough to see... Where it tends to flood. Where it tends to flood. Uh -huh. And... It's not that it doesn't get close, but it has... it There has to be an immense amount of flooding to get to that close point. So it's not something that I'm actively super worried about. Yeah. Most of the flooding that's going to happen, like between now and a week from now, is going to be coastal. Mm -hmm. Especially like people on the beach. Like I'm thinking Garden City, Cherry Grove. Yeah. And the other thing, and, and I, I made sure my mom... Especially with high tide coming in. I made sure my mom understood this, like, if ever you need to, like... Evacuate. Evacuate. You can come here. Yeah. It's not that far away. We have a room. And all of our friends have a room, so, like, you can just come here. Yeah. That is That was one of the big things about... Um, you know, moving here is that like we are no longer uh, troubled by hurricanes. There's no that worry is gone. Yeah. Um, there would have there would have to be something. So large. It's a tropical storm at this point, and it's already over land. Yeah. So that's gonna take a lot of power out of it. Mm -hmm. It hit as a one, I think. And it's going to kind of go across Florida and then, like, come back in and get up towards Myrtle. Yeah. And then come up by us. But I'm not... We're not worried about it. And I don't think people in Raleigh should be unless they live in an area that's flood-prone. Yeah. 
I mean, that is the thing, right? Like, a lot of people get freaked out about hurricanes from, like, the, the, the wind speed. Yeah. And, like, that's only problem number one. Problem number two... Yeah. Is flooding. And that's usually, that usually tends to be Chess says worse. we've had worse storms from normal storms this year already. Like, yeah. four days ago, that was worse than what we're going to have from Debbie. Yeah. And Anise says, when does hurricane season start officially? It is June 1st till November 1st. And the part of the U.S. that we live in tends to get hit more on the second half of that. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I don't, I don't miss having to think about hurricanes. Yeah. But since my parents still live there, I do still think about hurricanes, <laughs> just in a slightly different way. Yeah, and it's the same with my dad in Florida. They just had yeah. some rain from it. Yeah. So but like... he's inland. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, everyone be safe. Yeah. Do the do the things that you can do to be as safe as you uh, you you can. Uh, Three hundred bits of night out says watching a video is good. Sounds like a good time to plug the Stephen Vlog abridged playlist, which is now well over a thousand videos and is a very fun abridged history of the vlog. I love how it's a thousand videos and it's abridged. Mm -hmm. Like it's still it, that's abridged compared to how many there actually are. It's just very funny putting the word abridged and 1,000 next to each other. I'm like, it's still technically abridged. It'll take you a fifth of the time to watch that playlist. I'm trying to think where we are. In the number? 530... 500. 5,000... Like 5,366 something like that today is maybe 5367 we're I'm, it, around there if i go says last video to go public was 5358 yeah i think it's like 5360 so you are, yeah. I, I think today is 5367 it's fine jay Lybeck says is there a site that tells us which filler arcs of steven blog we can skip all of it really it's just, <laughs> All of it. Just skip skip a very a very big portion of it. Uh, it's fine. Every once in a while, I'll get someone asking why we removed the day numbers from the vlog titles, and it's because it was um, intimidating for folks. We had I had, I had suspected it was intimidating, and then at some point we were. Asking that inform asking for that information, we got we received that information somehow. Where yeah. there was multiple people that were like, "Yeah, I, it felt like I was missing out on a thing to jump in at episode, you know, three thousand, and I was like, "Ah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense." So we just we don't want people to feel like they have to start at the beginning. <laughs> we at, at this point like don't don't start at the beginning. Start, start, start at present day, and then, uh, you know, if you have, if you have questions, there are so many helpful people who will point you in the direction of the information that you need. Someone said something about skipping or not skipping the home repair arc. The home repair arc? Or the yellow house. Anyway, that just reminds me of what I discovered last night. Yellow house? Two houses ago. The toilet? Oh, that would have been the apartment. Sorry, I don't remember anything that happened more than ten days ago. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh. It just know. reminded me of what I found out last night when I was working on the shower. Yeah, so um to catch people up to speed on this, uh, when we moved in here, this is this this is this is a nice place. I, I enjoy living here. This is a nice place. There's a lot of room on the as a whole. Like it, it's. I think it's a good place to live. The landlord is fine, and 
when you're looking at individual components, they are not as nice as the place that we just lived, because the place we had just lived had, like, upgrades to, like, appliances. It was the nicest appliances we'd ever seen in our life. It was like, oh my god, I didn't know a fridge could be this nice. And then we moved here, and it was like, oh, okay, back to, like, normal stuff. And, this house uh, is builder grade. Yeah, everything here is builder grade. And, like, that's fine. It's just, man, the place that we lived before this, uh, they had they had upgraded everything. Yeah. It was cool, except the they didn't have enough power going into the oven. Yeah. That was well, that was because they upgraded it and didn't yeah, they, account for that. Yeah. Anyway, so um, when we moved in here, there was there was a few little problems that really needed to be addressed. Uh, one was that the uh, caulk in the shower mm -hmm. was bad. It had gotten moldy. It had gotten moldy and it needed to be replaced. So we had reached out to the landlord and the landlord was like, ah, I will send the repair person, which again, by the way, um, the repair person is, is like a friend of the landlord and it's extremely obvious when you talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not, not a professional. Anyway, so the guy came out and he, he dealt, he dealt with the clock and we were like, okay, cool. And then, like, within a few days, it started to just fall apart. Fall apart. And then, like, a month went by, and then, then the mold came back, and we we're like, cool. So we've just kind of dealt with this for a year. And My assumption was is he did not use a water resistant. Oh, that's an extremely good assumption. Yeah, that was my assumption. Because it was, like, falling apart. So um, Mal finally... Had enough. Yeah, finally like, recently... Because, like, you can't clean it because it's falling apart. ...was like, I'm going to do this myself. Because if we ask them to do it, they're going to do a terrible job. So I'm just going to do it myself. <laughs> yeah, we know. And I was like, okay. So Mao has spent the last few days, like... I deep cleaned the shower. Deep cleaned the shower mm -hmm. and got everything ready. And yesterday was like, I'm going to start removing the pre-existing cock. And I said, okay. The bad one they put in. And uh, so she started to do that. And then she came and got me and was laughing... And I was like, why are you laughing? She's like, he did not remove the old cock from the shower. He just put new over on top of the pre-existing. Mm -hmm. Which I believe in the industry is known as um, cock on cock action. So Mal got rid of it all. And um, we're now in the uh, process of. I I say we. I can't say we. No, you I'm can't. not doing. <laughs> I'm not doing any of this. Mallory is the one that is is handling all of this on her own. So. I scraped. I got uh, one of those tools. It's like a V-shaped metal thing that you can just stick in the corner and scrape it all down. Yes. And the the new stuff that they put in. Wasn't even the right color, by the way. Um, that came off easy because I don't. I still think it, it wasn't did. the right stuff. Of course it did. Yeah. But the old original stuff is like an almond color because it matches the tile and the grout of the shower. That is not coming off as easy. Which is why I had you order the spray remover to like so soak on it. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to do that and then probably take a razor blade and get all of the old stuff off. We are at this point doing. A home repair. This is the easiest home repair that anyone can do. Yes, but like, my, here's so my point. So it's a good starter one if you need one. <laughs> yeah, but my, my point is is that you are actually upgrading the home. Yeah, and I this, bought... This is, an, this is bought, a home upgrade. If you're doing it in your shower, you should get, like, don't skimp on the the new stuff you're putting in. Yes. And, and like... The price difference between the cheapest thing you can buy and the stuff you need to buy... It's like 6 versus $12. It's its its yeah. not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's less than $10. Do that. This is like one time where like you can't... You have... <laughs> like pay the additional few bucks. You really need to do that. Yeah. It's really important. So, um... Yeah, if you... And it says on it, at the store, it's like, hey, this is for the kitchen yeah. and the bathroom and for, I don't know how they worded it, wet applications or whatever. Yeah. And that's it. To do that. If you buy the cheapest thing you can, it's gonna be bad. And then you have to redo it. 
Well, what's going to happen is you're going to have your tenant do it themselves. Yeah, it says, it says, this is for wet. That's how you know. Yeah. Anyway, my dad used to manage apartments. And, like, I would help him. Like, when the, he was turning an apartment over. Yeah. Was, um, like, something I would go help with. Like, so I put up wallpaper a lot. Yeah. And, like, would help out with things. So, like, I know how to, like, replace parts in a toilet tank. And lay wallpaper and <laughs> yeah like this doesn't seem like it's something out of what i know how to do because i watched him do that when i was a child yes i mean when it's come to everything in our marriage like as far as like house stuff like it's mal mal just knows how to do things mal either knows how to do things or is willing to just figure it out yeah like, full stop. Like, if there's something going on, and Mal's like, I don't know how to do this, but I'll figure it out. She does. Like, every time. So, good job. Thanks. And I am the person that... I mean, there are... I will not touch electricity. That's something I'm not gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Joan says, what is it that you do, Steven? I drive her to the store to buy the thing she needs to fix the thing. You're the spare ladder. <laughs> I am the spare ladder. That's what I mean. That's what I did yesterday. Was um, yeah. You, uh, I mean, you needed to get out of the house for a little bit. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's let's go to the hardware store. So we went to the hardware store. And Mal was, I'm, I just follow her. I have no idea what we're doing. So I just follow Mal, and she's like, we need this. And I'm like, okay. And we need this. And I'm like, I believe you. I worked. At, I trust you. I worked at Lowe's, not the food one. Lowe's Home Improvement, for all of like a month, in college, mm -hmm. and um, like I know how the store is laid out. Like it's laid out in a very particular way. But the one we went to was terrible. I had to look up. I had to pull up their website and type in like remover tool and then like put in the store we were in and then it was like oh it's in aisle 8 bay 13 i'm like oh okay also while we were while while we were walking around we did find multiple different um like tubes of cock in different places yeah well you need it for different applications i know but when we finally got like, to the section where it was supposed to be it wasn't all of the ones that we had seen and i was like oh yeah. I assumed that there would have been, like, a a place that it would have put it all together, and, like, uh, uh, nope. <laughs> You're a Lowe's family, not a Home Depot family, I see. They're the same. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. They're, and we had to go to same. another store. Yeah, I chose, I chose where we were going based on the fact that I needed to go... <laughs> to, to a different store because right I, need, I needed to buy uh, cat litter. <laughs> I really needed to buy cat litter. And then um, I bought cat litter. And now Kepler can poop. Well, I mean, I guess he can poop no matter what, but it, whether or not I have cat litter is what makes a difference on <laughs> where. <laughs> Home Depot has the theme song. No, Menards has the theme song. You know, I hear you can save good money at Menards. You'll save big money. Big money. Big money. At Menards. God, I miss Menards. <laughs> Joke ruined. I think. Have I ever been in a Menards? Probably not. I don't think I've ever had a reason to take you to I don't Menards. Know that I've ever. I don't know if I've ever been in. In Fleet Farm and Farm and Fleet. I don't think I took you into those either. Wait, sorry. Those are two different stores? So there were, I think they were brothers, and then one is Fleet Farm and one is Farm and Fleet. It's Mills and uh, Blaine. Okay. Okay. Because like Appleton was Fleet Farm, and so I grew up knowing it is Fleet Farm. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to Stout to college, there was a Farm and Fleet. I remember my dad explaining that to me, and I had no idea. So we're gonna swing through the Burger King drive-through. Oh, I don't go to Burger King. I only go to King of Burgers now. 
Oh, okay. Cheese Hammer gifted to sub to Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, it's almost hockey season. Do the, do the Carolina Hurricanes play during the Carolina Hurricane season? No, it's a winter sport. Uh, that's probably the it's best. Hockey. Because then, then on the news, no one would know what we were talking about. Uh, Mino Gazzo gifted five subs. Thank you. They went to uh, Heffy Jeffy, Polish Pixel sixty four, Lynch, Kinder's Rule, and Unk nine nine nine. Mino, thank that's, you. Uh, Polish Pixel. No. It could be Polish. It could be. It could be Polish. This is the Patty Plain song. I do love when I have corrupted <laughs> thousands of people into believing that a song from the YouTube audio library is a specific. <laughs> it's not. The, it's this song. This is what. <laughs> it's like whenever we play. Um, uh, what's it called? Riding by Silent Partner. Yeah. And everyone's like, that. That's the That's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, I did skip the Searle song the other day. At the Pharaohs, the Searle. Yeah. So these are... I mean, that is what happens. Because there's been occasions that I've used a song on something, or it'll come up in stream, and there's been multiple people that are like, ah, this is this song from, like, another YouTube channel. And I'm like... <laughs> what? <laughs> But if, if someone, you know, 10 years ago chose a song in the YouTube audio library that they were going to use as their outro for every video they ever did, then yeah, if it comes up in my streams, people are going to be like, that. Yeah, Technology Connections. I don't know what their song is. Well, actually, I can hear it in my head. I just don't know what it is called in the audio library. Anyway, three and a bit some shy. It says, so what you're saying is that the official Stephen George recommended way to watch the vlog is like the movie Memento? Fitting for a film major. You can watch however you'd like. But I I don't ever want someone to feel obligated to watch all of it because it's it's, it's too much. It is. It's too much. It's not intended. It's not intended to watch at all. Like, uh, like a soap opera. Like Days of Our Lives is like a jillion episodes. You're not supposed to watch it all. You're supposed to just like jump in <laughs> at some point. Do you see how happy this cat is? He's a good boy. He's really, he's really enjoying the cuddle. Pokemon says, you say that, but the One Piece fans are wild. One Piece is not supposed to be watched in its entirety. <laughs> You're supposed to just jump in. Some people just didn't get that memo and started at the beginning. And, you know, it's... You can do that if you want. <laughs> yeah, One Piece is not supposed to be watched. <laughs> Steven George, 2024. Yeah, I, uh, I want people to be able to watch things without feeling like there's some sort of obligation. Start start where we are and go from there. If you real honestly, if someone was watching today, if someone was watching the vlog today and they're like, I want to go back a little bit and start somewhere, I would start when we moved to, to Raleigh. Yeah. That's what I would do. I would start there because that's like a, <laughs> that's an arc. <laughs> We're in the Raleigh arc. Um... And like, would you have some questions? I mean, you'd probably have some questions, but you know what you can do? You can ask them in the comments and someone will answer you. Or you're... check the wiki. Yeah. You know, if, if we mention something and, the, and it, there's no context given for it, you can ask in the comments and be like, Steven said this at this time mark. Why did, what is that? And, and there will be several people that will be like, this is what this means. Here is a related vlog that will explain this better. Like, it's... And the goal that I have when I'm shooting stuff is to try to explain enough in present day that, like, mm -hmm. that's not necessary. Because I don't want people to feel like they have to, get, like, research what's happening. <laughs> so I try to explain things when I get. 
We get 500 bits from Stalker Mike who says, Oh, I realized I never said it. Happy anniversary, you two. Hope you enjoy your day and have a wonderful date night. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tonight will be... Tonight will be fun. Because we have, we have plans beyond just uh, dinner. Yeah. I'll report back in about that on Thursday. Or I guess tomorrow. I guess I'll be playing fish game tomorrow. Fish game. Fish game. Fish game. Then you bit some sats who says, oh, that's why the L is silent in, in, in cock, because you need to use that L to remove it when it goes bad. There are, I'm, I'm sure there are people who pronounce it Kalk. And I understand that that's maybe a safer way of pronouncing that word, but that is not how I or anyone near me has ever pronounced that. Um, Kalk. Kalk. Macaulay Kalkin. Um, so I'm just... I'm trying to be true to myself by not forcing uh, that leather in there because it's very weird. Kalk. Night Al says, chalk is not chalk. 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 I mean, someone probably says that. C-H-A-L, okay. Chalk. I don't know. We got 17 months from Retro Liz, 43 from One Weird Cat, 30 from Luna Rosep, Rose VT. I always read it as Rosevt. 71 from Commadner. Aldo gifted a sub to Apple TV Plus. Oh, yeah. Give me the bird. yeah. If, if you gift a sub, it doesn't have to be to Apple TV Plus, although that will work. <laughs> you get a free Apple TV, three, uh, Apple TV Plus three month trial. Watch Ted Lasso, I guess. Uh, 56 months from DC Racer and 500 bits of Melvin Scout says, I feel like the vlog is so extensive by this point that Steven could probably do a Truman Show Halloween costume for a fun meta joke. I, I, the inch, the, I, I think the part for me that will be interesting is when I am, um, how old will I have to be? I'll have to be 40. Yeah, when I'm 40, maybe 41. In a few years, it'll be half of my life, and that'll be the interesting part. So, morning, Cephason. Pablozamas. Well, good, yeah, good, good morning, us. <laughs> Probably not good morning for you. Yeah, good, I don't think good. it's morning there. Well, I mean, you could be somewhere else. True. It's possible. Uh, we also had 500 bits from gamers. That's uh, that ostrich. You really should sleep. As someone who... Just woke up. As, <laughs> as someone who just woke up and is ready to go back to bed. Should sleep. If I had, if I had a nickel for every time I had a conversation with Josh Jepson about his sleep... Since just like since we've lived in Raleigh, like having a conversation in person with him about his sleep, I'd have a dollar. I most recently had one. Tell Josh to give you a dollar. You owe me a dollar. We we went uh, when what he was about on Jules. Yeah, that too. That's a too. If Jules lived here, I'm sure we'd have that conversation too. Like uh, on Tuesday. So last week, Josh was on breakfast stream, and then after breakfast stream, um, we went and we went and got some breakfast, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, I went to bed at five. And I was like, "Are you okay?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Sometimes I say things like I should fix my sleep schedule." He's like, "But also, I'm doing okay," and I'm like, "Okay." It's like, the, the important thing is that you are happy and functioning. That's the important part. Like, if you, you know, if you... If you go to bed at 5 a.m., but you are still able to be a 
productive and relatively functioning person, then like, okay. You know. If you're waking up at 1 p.m., then yeah, alright. Just makes it really rough if you're getting up for breakfast stream. You gotta get up at 8.30. Yep. Yep. Those days, you're probably gonna feel a little bit. Just a little bit. Our sleep is so much better than it was ten years ago. Mm-hmm. I say our, but it's really mine. Yeah. You 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 had a normal sleep schedule because you were going to normal job. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that things are, are, are better for me. Like I'm I'm glad that I'm I think part of it is I'm just not young, so I can't do it. Oh man, that was that was an interesting feeling. The other day, um, we had uh, went we had went out with a, a group of folks, and uh, Haley was there, and we were talking about age demographics, and she pointed out the fact that at 35, you are in a new demographic because. 25 to 34 is young adult, but 35 is adult. And I was like, oh, I'm just an adult now. Oh, plain old boring adult. <laughs> Renee <laughs> says, then why do I still look for an adultier adult? Kepi, can I have my arm back? Yeah. I know you're cuddling my hand, but um, I need that back. It's very serious music. Yeah. Adulthood is serious business. Yeah, it, I, I do feel old sometimes. I think that there's, I think that there's a lot of things in my life that help keep me, like, mentally youthful. But there's also as many things that. <laughs> it just make me feel very old. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> 34 is not old. Ah, but I'm 35, so... Right? I am 35, right? It's 2024. Yeah, I'm 35. Jesus. <laughs> the chaperone tweet. Did you see my chaperone tweet? I did. Sorry, like, you and Haley were discussing uh, chaperone, and I was hearing... I, I didn't know what chaperone was, so I'm just... My brain is, like, trying to understand, and it's like, the only thing it can come close is chaperone. And I'm just thinking, why are they talking... What? Yeah, I really like Chakaron, and I'm like... We mentioned... We're playing GTA, and I'm like, it's Chapel Roan, and I start singing Pink Pony Club, and you are... And you don't think, like, Chakaron is a song, and I'm singing a different song. I didn't know what you were singing. <laughs> I, I'm not, I, I'm, I can't put this together. So all I'm thinking... All I'm thinking is... Yeah, I, I got that one yeah. you tweeted. Yeah. There's an entire generation of people today that have no idea what that song is, though. And I think they missed out. We've done that for karaoke sometimes. <laughs> it's really great. It's a really good, really good karaoke song. When, in, when the entire room of people are going, That's a good one. I love it. Speaking of karaoke, get excited for 11 minutes from now. Cheese Hammer gifted a sub to Kalk Lover. Uh, we had 34 months from Will Peters. And 500 bits from One Weird Cat says, My boyfriend and I are moving, and I find myself wondering why I have so much stuff. One of the things I thought about as I went to bed last night was how much stuff we have and how I want there to be less of it.
There's some shelves I could empty. Look at look, I could empty all this. Do you know how many boxes these are? I was at the store the other day and I bought several Super Nintendo games. <laughs> but those aren't in this room, mm -hmm. so... Um, so that's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Vagabond, how many of those games did you already have? None! None. None. A lifelong goal is to finish Super Nintendo. And all of all the games I've bought in the last, like, two years for Super Nintendo have been, um, like, very, very cheap games. Like, uh, the, things I bought, the things I bought the other day were, like, sports games. I was like, eh, I'm buying some of these. We're, uh, we're, oh, um... I have a percentage completion now because I did the the equations on the spreadsheet uh -oh. so I would know. Do you want to know what our percentage completion of the Super Nintendo library is? Sure. Let me guess. Sure. 43. It can be 43 if you want it to be. We'll need to buy another, like, 60 or 70 games to make that happen. No. 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 What are we at? We're, uh, we're at, it's like at 32.5 now. It's like just about a third. Like, just, just about a third of the, the library. So... I, again, I'm not. I'm not in a rush. I hoped the answer was like 70, but um, it wasn't. And it wasn't even half. So yeah, we don't know. We do not have half. Do you want to know what our percentage completion of the Switch library is? No. Good, because I can't, I don't know. I mean, it is an ever increasing number. It is an ever increasing number. I, this this. I mean, the Switch is a. Uh, the most games I've ever owned for a current console. That's I've never had this many games for a current console. That's never happened. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> we have so many. I'm. I. 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 I will be furious if the Switch Two does not support Switch One games. I will be so upset. You have no idea. All of the rumors and stuff are pointing to the fact that it will. But if they change their mind at the last second, I, I think I will cry on stream. Just once, but I will do it. I'll be very, very upset. Yeah, I, I don't know how many games. I think there's like 3,000 or something. It's an, it's an obscene amount. Yeah. Um, obscene amount of, of physical Switch games. It's ridiculous. Uh, Dishnet gifted a sub to Cock. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to Cock Blocked. These all have L's in them, by the way. Three bits from Shia says, Shakaran has actual lyrics. Now I can't stop thinking about old school YouTube cracks. Makes me wonder how many kids these days know the magic that is Numa Numa. My he! My ho! My ho! My ha ha! You're waking up this cat. I have a music video for Numa I know Numa. you do. That's old, man. Like that I think the weird thing about what I've done for so long is that like there's a, there's I have been on the internet and making video content on the internet so long that Everyone knows current day. Yeah. Of like, oh, well, Steven does the vlog and they play video games or whatever. And then, like, before that is an entire other era of like predating YouTube. Predating YouTube mm -hmm. of like tons of videos, like a hundred plus something videos. There's all this old stuff. And one of them is a uh, music video for Numa Numa. And that was a. 
I don't know if you call it a parody, an homage to Steve's video. Yeah, our friend Steve, Steve Campos, uh, made a Numa Numa video, and I recreated, recreated his mm -hmm. video shot for shot when I was in high school. And then there's a video of them playing side by side. But why? It was fun. When you're in high because school- Because you had time in high school. Yeah, that's what it is. When you're in high school, you just like, you have time to do things. You're just like, I have this funny idea. I'm just gonna do it. And then you just do it. Man. Is it on Vimeo still? There you go. I wonder if it's, I wonder how I would feel about it now. Like with my present knowledge of like filmmaking and stuff. I have no idea. Uh, eight months from Two Sleepy Cats, eight months also for, from Zenther, and 37 months from Jezza Gaming 1998. Thank you. Jazz. All your base are belong to us. All your base. 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 There, I, 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 I think one of the reasons I really like our community, amongst many reasons, there's many, many reasons here, but we have... Leak spin. We have a pretty wide age range here. Uh-huh. The other day, I went and listened to the Danjo song. Danjo, don, don, oh. don, don, don. Show me! Show you! That's not what I- Geek! I know, but that made me think of that. Geek o me Anyway, um, we, ha we have a very wide um, age range here, and it's fun because there's a, there's, a, there's a group of people who are older, and we can make wild references, mm -hmm. and they'll be like, ah, yes. And then the group that doesn't are interested enough to be like, all right, I'm gonna figure. What is this? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look this up, and then you get to learn something. Right before we went to Japan, I kept getting the. In fact, um, it says, and we still won't get them. <laughs> the cone beanie song stuck in my head. The cone beanie song. Yeah. I got, I kept getting that stuck in my head before we went to Japan, and then when we were in Japan, I kept having it stuck in my head. What is the cone beanie song? I posted it to the group. It's like. I can't sleep, so I'm going to the convenience store. Every once in a while, folks will reference, like, my friends will reference something that, that I don't know. And then I'll be like, it's like some, it's like one sliver of internet that I missed out on when I was younger. And that's a weird feeling. But I think a lot of this stuff is still, uh... Still, f still, like funny and interesting to a younger generation. It's just there's been so much other content that they haven't found it. That's the thing. The internet used to be much smaller. Yeah. So like the jokes were more widely known because there was only like there weren't there weren't God there weren't millions of people making videos right. Like it was if you were making a video and putting it on the internet like pre YouTube, like that was. That, that was God tier. Like, that's not a thing that people did. So, if something made it... To, and also, you can download it because your internet speed was 56k. <laughs> but if you were putting... If you had stuff on the internet like that, it was like... There weren't that many... Funny things. Everyone knew the same vines. <laughs> I do remember Gonads and Strife. I do. I actually use that song in a video. I actually use that song in the video. When the when the Nintendo Wii was coming out, like several months before it came out, Justin made a fake one and made it look like completely real. I mean, it looked, especially with like t being shot in 480p. And it that video opens with me on a guitar, and we're just playing the Gonads and Strife song, which starts... The, that, that song starts by going, 
Wee! Which was appropriate for the console. I can't begin to explain all this stuff. It's just it's, it's too much. It's too much. Cheese Hammer gifted the sub to Badger Badger Mushroom Snake. We would spend a lot of, a lot of time just like... Yeah. Watching that. If I say it like that, it makes it sound like our lives were sad. And, but it, it, <laughs> it's better than it sounds. I promise. It's ten. It's ten. Hey. You can watch a vlog. It just came out, and it's very funny. I was going to release it yesterday, and I was like, no. I'm going to release it after breakfast stream so I can hype up how funny it is. It's very funny. It's very funny, and it is very worth your time. We sing an ad. We sing an ad. We actually sing two ads. <laughs> it's called Sizzler for the 90s. Exactly what America wants. I'm so focused on the the jump up superstar, and I'm like, we sing an ad. And I'm like, the vlog is called Sizzler for the '90s. We sing two ads. There's two ads. You are going to want to play Mario while eating at a Sizzler so bad. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy the the video. It's a very good one. And like I said, uh, I I was very very busy yesterday and got a lot of vlogs done, so I'll be releasing them in the next few days. Good. And that is it for us today. Thanks for being here. Thank you everyone for the happy anniversary wishes. Really appreciate it. Um, that was hard to do. Carrying the CODs was discouraged. Uh, Mal and I are gonna... I'm painting at one. Oh yeah, you're painting! Matt will see you again. I forgot. Mao will see you in three hours, because Mao has got more painting to do on that big yep. painting. So she will see you. Be there. You're, like, almost done, right? I gotta do the right bank. Yeah. And then I have that reflection to do. And then I have any, like, little tiny things to finish. So you might finish today. No. Oh. Anyway, she'll be painting it at 1, so tune in for that. Otherwise, uh, I'll be on tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern here for uh, Subnautica. You if you want to catch up on the other two streams, they're already posted on the VOD channel. And then uh, breakfast stream Thursday and Zelda Friday. That's it. All right, folks. Uh, go watch the vlog. It's a good one. And um, 13 years, Dome. Thank you for 13 years. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, wait, not Zelda. Yeah, That's not right, not Zelda, Zelda not Zelda, not Zelda, not Zelda, but a game, just me, playing a game. Be there, seriously. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'll reveal it on Thursday's breakfast stream. But if you're if you're a, a current patron, then you want to know it's in the video, so you can go watch the Patreon video. All right, see you at one on Mouse Channel for painting. <laughs>